understand the presence, we need to revisit Medina and cross the mountain. Cherie Creek Reservation is federally recognized tribal land. The small Alto Hill neighborhood gets quick access to Medina via dirt road and is separated from the nearby Diamondback City by the creek itself. On the surface, it's nice and pretty, but it's also the birthplace of what's destroyed these communities. Native to the region's mountains is a peculiar red-capped fungal growth characterized by its sharp thorns, known as the cactus mushroom. And despite a strange appearance, its life cycle isn't unusual. It can grow virtually anywhere. On the ground. In damp, dark places. Or even on other botanical life. It's hallucinogenic, powerful so. During their genocide, the tribe's medicine men would prescribe it as a therapeutic tool for mourning because upon ingestion, its psychedelic properties makes one feel a looming presence. It's the believed spirit of a loved one recently taken away from them, reunited in death. But when a psychotic person experiences it, the results can be very sinister. The cactus mushroom is infamous due to its supposed association with the disappearances, and in more recent times, the mysticism brings the tourists to the area searching for it to experience the presence for themselves. But here, it's destroying lives, including the ones in our next town. There was probably not much life here to begin with. Dayton's small, isolated and hidden in the shadow of the canyon. Medina at least had some semblance of attractions, but there was never any reason to come here. The idea of erecting a wholesale liquor warehouse on the side of Dayton's Highway to serve Palador County was a good one, but it failed. And hey, when even Liquor World can't survive, you know shit is bad.
it's not small town living it's non-existence to begin with the people's lives here were nothingness now it's full of fear it's not a home it's a place you're trapped in reminded of who and what was taken away from you inescapable just like your feelings Palador County has effectively outlawed the cactus mushroom, and not just to keep away thrill-seeking tourists, but to create the illusion of protecting the community. It's not working. It's like Footloose from hell. The failure of the police didn't just lead to the arrival of the private investigator. It provoked the local biker gang. Headquartered in Dayton, they've done some things to make their occupancy known, and we'll get to that in another episode. In the meantime, the little plot of land the Lucky Devil Bar sits on feels like a small oasis of safety. Because by night, Dayton is engulfed by the presence. It's here, right now. In Cherie Creek, the interpretation of the cactus mushroom in the presence is very different. It itself isn't feared, but the person or people under its influence for the past decades moved between communities. They've been terrorized here too. Lives have been taken away, lost.
these people have been drowning in paranoia with no chance to surface and catch the breath. And next time, we'll look at not how the presence has poisoned these communities, but how they've torn themselves apart.